Oh my god, why do you fuckers request this shit? You, you, I did the first part, because I was told to, and then you, you, you absolute heretics wanted me to do part two. <sighs> so here's part two. I suppose the only difference between this one and the first part is this time I haven't actually read ahead slightly, so it will be my entire live reaction to reading this. Um, if it's if it's anywhere near as heretical as the first one, I'm I'm I, I think I'll just lose it. I, th I think I'll just kill myself. Maybe not quite that extreme, but I'll definitely start cutting. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, um, before we begin, just you know, if you're new, subscribe. If you're gonna like the video, I mean, of course you're gonna like the video. You, if you watched the first video and now you're watching the second video, you must have liked the first video at least to some extent. So you might as well just hit a like on this one. And if you haven't on the first one, go hit a like on that. It got fucking demonetized. I'm not getting paid for this shit. Like the least you can do is like and subscribe for me, and of course join the Discord. Anyway, let's just let's just jump straight into this absolute terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible abomination. Squad Broken Part 2 Orclectic Boogaloo. When he heard another squad mate screaming over the comm in rage and pain, Girk knew things were going terribly wrong. That was the fourth such transmission he'd received, and he, even in his orc brain, could comprehend that most likely at least half his squad was dead. It was no matter. Even one orc was more than a match for the average squad of Space Marines. And his 12... 12 inch orc cock was f throbbing with an unusual lust for... Virgin man cunt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no need to take chances though, Girk fought, and decided to get a grip on the situation. In his deep, guttural voice, he cracked his comm unit to life. All orcs will fight him! Girk only heard silence greet him in return over the comms. Something was definitely wrong. He quickened his pace, picking up in a slow trot with his long, thick orc legs, heading back for the dropship. Whatever was going on, he knew it couldn't be good and just wanted to get out of there now. There would be other marines and other anuses to violate, and Girk had a strong sense of self-preservation. Almost back to the dropship, Girk suddenly found himself flying through the air, head first, as he entered one of the large cargo rooms from a side tunnel. He landed hard, with a crash near the centre of the room. And before he could even move, heard the telltale sound of pulse rifles charging up. He raised his head to look around and only had a chance to see the butt of one of those rifles impact his head so hard, everything went black. He didn't know how much later it was when he woke up, but he felt green blood trickling down his face and dripping off his fangs. Trying to wipe the blood away only brought realisation that his hands and feet were bound and he was wearing a control belt. Now, three to look around, he saw no less than 12 space marines surrounding him, all of them disrobed from the waist down with raging with raging hard-ons that make, that made Girk's own orc cock flush with excitement, even considering his current situation. All right, boys, have at him, one of the marines shouted, and Girk found himself with his face on the cold metal floor and his ass in the air. He heard the pulse of a plasma rifle discharge and felt the searing of his flesh as they melted the armor, protecting his ass. He didn't shout or make any noise, even though there was a pleasure mixed in with the pain of Girk. One by one, the space marines violated Girk's anus, some blowing their hot loads inside of him, some on his face after or before punching him, some shooting them on his back, and all the while Girk enjoyed the fuck of a lifetime, even if they did have small cocks. After all the marines had taken their turn, Girk's face was covered in a film of white cum and a mixture of semen and shit dribbled from his anus. Thanks. 
As he laid there on the floor behind him, he heard the distinct sound of metal on metal, like the clink, clink, clink. But he couldn't turn around to see what it was that approached him. Closer the clinking came until it seemed right on top of him as a new figure stepped in front of him with each leg making clinking sound as it struck the metal floor. Girk realised that the person now standing in front of him must have metal legs. Really? You don't fucking say- Man, orcs are fucking retarded. Although he looked like a normal space marine, but older. Hello, Girk, he said. You probably don't remember me. It's been so long, but 12 years ago you raped my virgin ass and left me for dead on a cargo ship just like this one. The damage was so extreme, much of my body much of my body couldn't be saved, but the doctors were able to give me a new body. Now I'll do to you what you did to me so long ago, and my revenge will be complete. I am Eduardo! <laughs> Eduardo! I am Eduardo. Girk only vaguely recalled the encounter so long ago. One of many in a long list of ass rapes he had committed against the marines, and almost all of which ended with a dead marine. As he struggled to record the exact memory in his slow, orc brain, Eduardo was disrobing before him. He was amazed to see two metal legs, but what was more impressive was his cock, which was made completely of metal and appeared to have a built-in piston of some kind. Ah, Girk, I see you're admiring my equipment. What you see here is a Model 101 Cybercock. One of the first of its kind. I had the doctors modified though, and I can control directly the size and speed of the piston. See? And as he said that, the cybercock seemed to grow in size to nearly twice as big as it had been, and became fully erect, standing nearly 15 inches long. Not wanting to waste any more time, Eduardo moved in behind Girk, and with a thought, he discharged a hot oil lubricant from his cybercock and thrust it brutally into Girk. This time, Girk did scream a guttural <laughs> as the 15 inches of hot metal tore open his anus and green blood began to mix with hot oil and leftover man juice. Yo, my guy's getting sloppy seconds and he ain't wasting no time. Eduardo turned up the piston speed with a 4 to 800 RPM and watched Girk seem to vibrate as his cybercock ravaged him. Girk seemed to go limp, but Eduardo didn't care as he climaxed and extended the cybercock another 5 inches inside of Girk, rupturing vital organs as his innards filled with hot jizz. <laughs> Eduardo pulled out and Girk crumpled to the floor, unmoving, most likely dead from the pure, absolute violation that was the cybercock. It was then that Eduardo noticed a flashing light on the shoulder of Girk's orc armour, but it was too late as a stun grenade detonated a split second after he came to this realisation, and he was unconscious. Eduardo woke up next to the rest of his squad of space marines, all bound hand and foot and all naked. At least eight orcs were in the room with them, and Eduardo knew what was coming. The squad was lined upon the floor face down and ass up, just like Gurk had been. And the orcs began ass raping them one at a time, running a rape train <laughs> on, on each one of them in turn letting all the others see what was to come. Some of the marines just passed out or died outright before the orcs even got to them, knowing full well what was going to happen to them from Eduardo's account. The orcs didn't care. They raped them anyways, having a good time using their bodies like puppets whilst their friend raped their still warm man cunts. Eduardo was one of the last, and even though he had a metal anus, the orcs didn't care and raped him anyway, and he still felt everything. He quickly went into a semi-conscious state as the orcs ravaged him, reliving in his mind the original encounter with Girk muttering over and over, Squad broken! Squad broken! As he continued to get pounded by the orcs, living longer than everyone else did because of his particularly robotic body, the rape was done. Girk rose above Eduardo, turning around only to find them dead. 
Gurk looked around to see what had happened when suddenly there was a loud crack. Gurk looked down at his chest. There was a gaping hole. Gurk fell to his knees as Vindicare smiled halfway across the field. As bad as the first one. It wasn't as um, heretical. Still heretical, but it wasn't as heretical. Um, I'm happy Eduardo got his revenge. But I'm... I I think he it would have been better for him to have just died in the first one. Um, I still hold by the fact that this is the spawn of evil and everything unpure in this world, and I think this should be deleted from everywhere. <laughs> anyway, I I I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't enjoy it, and if you did enjoy it, you're weird. But I suppose if you snuck, if I suppose if you uh, stuck around this long, you deserve a reward, right? Um, tough shit, you're not getting anything, you're heretical for staying this long, uh, join the Discord, subscribe, like, fuck yourself if you made it this far, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off, I'm very angry, just because this exists, anyway, good night.